Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is day 44 as playing as the Democratic Republic of Congo in Conflict of Nations World War III. Um, we're basically got six players left and I've clicked to go ahead and end the game. Um, currently, so I, I've got a gap. I created a video but then the, I checked and the video wasn't <laughs> didn't work out and so I didn't load it up and I was slightly behind but what I've got here, oh we got some action going on down here, but we push through the rest of uh, Myanmar over to the Vietnamese coast like we planned. We got wrapped up in a war that I didn't really plan for, but it, it happened, and it was going to happen one way or the other with Japan, which had most of China. Um, so we're pushing into his territory. I've got a... What is he doing down here? Oh, he's got a submarine off of this base down here. Um, don't know if I can bring anything to bear against that sub. Uh, let's see, what can these guys, can they attack submarines? Nope. I don't really have anything that can deal with a submarine at this point, but I am building maritime, I'm getting ready to produce maritime uh, patrol aircraft, which could deal with him in the future. We'll see what comes out of... Uh, of this though. Um, so right now we're pushing up through China trying to, to cause him as much havoc as I can. Um, <clears throat> we talked before he was producing nuclear weapons so that's a major concern. We don't want to have to deal with any nukes. Um, and we have another, yep they've got another contact over here. So he's got quite a bit of naval, and that's why I ended up pushing up through here, through China, because I don't have to deal with his naval forces. Uh, I don't think he's probably a strong land base, so that's why I'm coming up through here. We're going to push up, then through China, go around the hook, get over here to Korea. I'm building an air base currently over in here somewhere. Where's that air base? Oh, it's probably right there. And just to kind of start staging troops, and then we'll start building air bases up here to begin basically our end assault on, on Japan. Um, so that's what we're currently doing. He brought a lot of his forces out initially, ground forces, some strong ground forces, mixed armor uh, infantry units. Uh, we pretty much uh, dealt with those with our air, aircraft, and it wasn't really a huge threat. I don't think I've detected any more. My real problem was, is, or still is, is he has used ballistic missiles, and I really don't have any good defense against ballistic missiles currently, but I am developing theater defense weapons to that will counter those. Um, my, my rail guns, my SAMs do have a missile defense capability, but... It's not as good as the theater defense weapons, which are purpose-built for that. So that's what we're trying to produce over here. But he has whacked a couple of my cities up here. He's caused some major damage um, in here. And so we are going back through to... Uh, well, we're going to have to repair some of this. It shouldn't take us too long. But we're, we're going to go back through and uh, basically deal with... Uh, with this. Um, let me see here. What can we... Yeah, we're going to hold off until we get that air base fixed up here. So, but yeah, he, he nailed several of my cities. And I have some defenses around them, but they didn't... They, they didn't... I mean, they, they limited the damage, but there was quite a bit of damage done. And I'm assuming he is launching from over here using ballistic missile submarines. And so once I get, uh, when I'm going through over here, I am currently, uh, well, warhead shielding improved missiles. I should already have or be able to produce these uh, naval patrol aircraft. Um, let's see what we can do. Can I produce that up here? I don't know what I need to produce that. Let's go. What's over here? Oh, I can, I can. So we're going to start producing those because this is what's causing me a lot of havoc right now is the basically his uh, ballistic missile submarines. I need to be able to counter those. So uh, we're going through. we got 12 hours left on this first theater defense weapon. Um, 
Okay, everything is producing something. So let's go back through. We are going to go through and improve on our uh, recruiting because that will speed up our production. And we need to get our production really rolling to uh, get some of these other weapons out on, on the line to uh, defend ourselves. So the other thing I am doing is putting in more underground bunkers, which will shield my population from his ballistic missiles. He's producing, he's bringing that airport back online. I am curious, I haven't really looked at what I need to produce this naval patrol aircraft. I just need an arms industry and an airbase level three. So I've already got an airbase level one there. Let's go ahead and bring him up. Okay. So that should make it where we can uh, start producing uh, naval patrol aircraft to counter his ballistic missile submarines. Meanwhile, we are pushing up through here. Uh, we have that submarine coming off the, the, the uh, edge of Vietnam right now. But we're not going to, we can't do anything about him right now anyway, so we're just going to leave that. Um, we don't really see any more of his units. Moving to target. I think we're doing okay here. What do we got going on over here? Uh, no, just Japanese city, but no, we don't see any um, any of his forces in that city, so we should be okay. I'm just going to position him up here just long enough to, uh, once I get these air bases start uh, cranking out, then I can actually base him up here and he'll become a little bit more useful to, for me as a drone. Let's see how we're doing in these cities. He's at 36%, so he is ready to go. at 35% I want to send him over the sea because uh, I, don't, I don't know that he won't intercept my unit whenever he rolls through there with his uh, attack submarine he's got sitting there waiting for me Let's see what else I've got here. He's at 31%.
Okay, so that, so we're basically securing this area over here. I think we ran through there, but we didn't leave any units over there. We just kind of blew through there. I don't think, I think we probably went through and already ran out. Uh, yeah, these insurgents, we've run insurgents out of here. So he's moving into there. Um, <clears throat> so we're just trying to keep things moving. No chance of insurrection there, so we're going to shift him up, but not, we definitely do not want to uh, bring him uh, around that submarine because he's going to cause me some problems if I do. We're going to move him up through there. Um, and then as we shift these units up, I don't think we've got anything left down here. For duty. His unit. Um, you know what? We are going to pull. Oh, you know, can he? No, nope, can't attack submarines. So we're going to pull him back to my hospital location I've got back over here. The, so whenever you look at your units, if they have lost hit points, they also lose attack value. So you want to basically... Hey, there, there's two benefits. First of all, if you have your units go back to a hospital city, it'll rebuild up their hit points so they won't you won't lose them and have to rebuild them. But it also makes them more effective in combat. If they've if they've lost hit points, they are not going to basically. If you've lost half your hit points, you only do half the amount of damage whenever you're attacking. And so you want to keep that in mind when you're playing these units that you, you don't want to uh, lose uh, any uh, capability. All right. So I think that's where we are at now. We've got all our production set up. Um, We've got over a day left, and we're, we're building uh, more warheads for our cruise missiles. And I don't think, I mean, let's go check this out. I'm pretty sure a cruise missile cannot do anything to a submarine. Let's check this out, though. And that is a correct assumption. You can't use the cruise missile against a submarine. We need that maritime aircraft. So once we get that maritime aircraft on board, we will start... Uh, causing him some havoc at C2 and keep him away from our coastline. So that's where we are at. Actually, you know what? I sent him over here. I sent that AWACS over here just to spy out what the heck was going on. Um, but I really need him over here. I'm going to move him up just to the green on my territory because basically if he's over here on the green, then Japan can't see him. Whereas if I move that AWACS onto his territory, he's been going after my AWACSs. So I think I've only got one out of the three I built left. And then I built another one, and his uh, ballistic missile strike got lucky and took out my AWACS. So we want to uh, avoid that, not have that problem. So, um, so that's where we sit right now. We're, we're having to rebuild from some of this, but we need to counter those uh, ballistic missile submarines and protect our home cities. Uh, so that's our my, my key priority right now, and keep that offensive up going through China towards his uh, homeland city so we can actually start taking those out. So I appreciate you watching. If you enjoy these videos, please do me a favor. Hit the like button down below. That will help people find my videos. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. That will help uh, my channel out a lot. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Take care. See you next time.